Russian troops are destroying Ukrainian crops. Ukraine's foreign ministry spokesperson sharing this photo on Twitter showing a fire consuming a grain field in the southeastern part of the country. He said to quote, remember this picture every time Russians say they care about global food security, end quote. Adding that millions of people across the world will face hunger because of Russia's war. And Russia's blockade of millions of tons of Ukraine's grain is now having severe consequences on North Africa. A few days ago, the heavily indebted Tunisia government secured an emergency $130 million loan from the World Bank just to buy enough flour to feed their population. And as David McKenzie reports from Tunisia, the impact of the war couldn't have come at a worse time. Racing to feed a nation in the closing days of Tunisia's summer harvest. Russia's cynical ploy to hold hostage more than 20 million tons of Ukrainian grain is leading to a food crisis here in Tunisia and much of North Africa. Are you worried it will have a long-term impact on Tunisia? The war has really impacted both the consumer and our agricultural productions. Right now, every country must become self-reliant. If that's not possible, things are going to get very difficult. They're scrambling to increase that production and change consumer habits. In sun-baked Tunisia, farmers grow hard wheat to make pasta and couscous. But for soft wheat, the wheat that makes bread, Tunisia gets around 60% of it from Ukraine and Russia. And an official told me that they'll never be able to make up that number here. Not in five years, not even in 10. That spells trouble, says Shukri Amnudi. We can only sell what the government gives us, he says. The baguettes are subsidized by a government heavily in debt. Tunisia can barely afford imported flour from outside of Ukraine. It's about daily survival. When the people are hungry, they rebel, he says. Here, they are just recovering from a crushing COVID pandemic and a decade of political uncertainty. The impact of the war in Ukraine could not have come at a worse time. Even retired professionals like Huria Boussad and her husband can only afford a few luxuries. The prices, all the time they are going up. And what does that mean for you and your family? Young people, they cannot marry now. They don't have enough money to live. They cannot have a family. <laughs> I've sold nothing today, says Nasir Tamami, absolutely nothing. This place should be jam-packed before the Eid holiday, he says, but nobody can afford meat. On the roadside, farmers like Walid are struggling to sell their sheep for Eid celebrations. The sheep don't seem to mind. Animal feed prices are doubled because of Ukraine. It's a chain reaction that's bad enough now, he says. But the effect of the war is really going to be felt next year. And that's David McKenzie reporting. Ukraine now has a new port to help move grain out of the country. It's through a port in Romania along the Danube River. The Romanian port has started to use a floating crane to reload crops coming in on barges from Ukraine and onto commercial ships, which will then take the grain to Romanian Black Sea ports. The grains can also be stored in a silo at the port.